was good. If you just tuned in, go on and hit that subscribe button, that like button, that bell button. We out here. <laughs> yeah, we just out here taking a scroll. You know, enjoying the uh, the scenery. Y'all hear that? Nothing but frogs. This is my neighborhood. This is my hood. I can finally say that shit. Peace and quiet. Being that I'm from Chicago, it's just loud, man. I think I've always been like a country boy stuck in a city boy's body. You know what I'm saying? I love this, man. I love this. And this is my neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. Is deer around here, black bears. The majority of the black bears, you know, they keep to themselves. We just out here, man, enjoying ourselves. Me and Loki, Loki, Loki. Sit. What's up, dude? Tell your tell your people hi. <laughs> I don't even think I need this light on, do I? Nope. Let me turn that off. It's still light out here. Yep, down. Good boy, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we still we still out here having fun. Foos, good boy. Yeah, we just out here walking. I'm gonna tell you guys the story. Not today, but I'm gonna tell you eventually what made me choose a Connie Corso. Why is he my preferred breed? Well, first off. All my life, I've been raised with dogs. You know, like raised with wolves. But anyway, haha, I know that ain't that wasn't even funny. But anywho, um, so I've always had dogs in my life. My first dog I had in 1990. She died in 2005. Alexis. My Doberman. Oh man, that was my love, my heart right there. And so, um, and then, you know, I had gotten me a male Doberman, bred them. They had pups. I didn't even sell the puppies. I could have, I had papers and everything. But I just went on and gave the puppies away to those, you know, that wanted a pup in my neighborhood and stuff like that. Then I laid it down the road. It got me, you know, Rottweiler. And, you know, had me Rott had Rottweilers. Pretty much Dobermans and Rottweilers. I love them, man. My auntie and them in Norfolk, Virginia. I lived there in what, 91, 92? And they had a, an Akita, an American Akita. His name was Samson. Dude, I love Akitas. So I was, by me, you know, we just moved to down here to Atlanta. And like, yeah, what, tomorrow, which is October the 4th, is our anniversary of moving down here to Atlanta from Chicago. So we have, would have been down here for an entire year. I was actually going to, <laughs> I, I was torn between another, another Connie Corso, a Dogo Argentino, and an Akita. I was looking at the uh, Borables. I, I do like Borables, but I just couldn't find nobody that was breeding Borables. And the ones that were breeding Borables, eh, their prices were, were way, way, way out my price range. So, and then one person that was selling them for like 2000 he didn't even have no puppies available. So, my uh, uncle, who breeds Connie Corsos, his buddies 
had just had a litter. So I told my uncle, I'm like, hey, man, shoot me them pictures. So he shot me those pictures, sent them to my phone. I actually uh, have those pictures. I'll post it one of these days. And he was so huge at eight weeks old. So, you know, I'm like, uh, I reached out to my uncle's buddies because it's a circle of them. Windy City. Uh, Corsos, uh, Leonard Love, which is over there in uh, Gary, Indiana. Man, good brothers, good brothers. And they breed working a working line of Corsos. Man, I told them, hey man, he mine. I'll drop that money to you. Tomorrow, and that's exactly what I did. Cash apped him, sent him that uh that money that he was asking for. Come on. And so uh, I drove up there. I told him I'll be up there next weekend to pick him up. As soon as I dropped him my money, seen the puppy like Saturday. Contacted him. Sent him the money Monday, and I was up there Saturday morning in Gary, Indiana. That's only a nine-hour drive. That's, that was nothing. Turn your music on and relax. I'm always traveling anyway, so, you know, a couple family members met me over there because they stay in Chicago. We consider Gary, Indiana, the south side of Chicago. I'm just going to be honest with you. So, I grabbed him and came right back down here the next day. You know? So, I love this breed. This breed is a very athletic, strong breed. Highly intelligent. Very easy trainable. I'm breathing hard because I'm walking up this hill. <laughs> Let me show y'all. See? That's going down. This is going up. <laughs> Come on. I wish you would pull. <laughs> Help me up this freaking hill. So, here we are. But yeah, man, if you just tuned in, hit that subscribe button, that like, and that bell, so you guys can stay updated, and if you just tuned in, and you're wondering how old Loki is, seven months, he turned seven months on the 26th of September. And that was what the other day. So, yep. Yeah, man. So, he's going to be a beast like his daddy. His daddy's huge. His daddy way in at what? 125. And he moves around like he's 40 pounds. Yeah. Loki gonna be big like his daddy. Loki eats right. Good exercise. He's coming along. You know, he's still a little hard headed. Off leash. But he, he does actually good off leash. It's it's the distractions that, you know, of course, with any puppy. You know, the distractions will have his mind somewhere else while you're calling him. Yep. All right, guys. I'm getting ready to jump off. Hope you guys enjoyed our little walk like we try to do every day and all that good stuff. He's, 
One thing I love about Loki is he's always aware of his surroundings. You can't run up on him, man. Because he's always alert. Always. Come here, Foose. I've been letting you lead a little bit too much now. Now, you see, you, you know how to walk with me. So, all right, guys, I'm jumping off. Y'all tune in. I'm going to come up with some type of title for this. I don't know, I guess, uh, a daily st stroll through the neighborhood. <laughs> all right, guys. Ooh, somebody's barking. You hear them? Yeah, you hear them. <laughs> All right, I'm jumping off. Peace, church. Yo, Loki. Loki, you want to say bye? Loki, say bye to your fans. <laughs> All right, church.